Blah, 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 blah. Good afternoon, family of fast. Matt Mossman, the endurance guru over at Endure Elite, and I'm going to give you about five seconds to guess what we're going to talk about in today's video. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I lost my patience. We're going to talk about fish oil supplementation today. More specifically, what it is the health benefits, the performance benefits, and how much you should be taking on a daily basis to get these benefits. So let's just jump right into it and discuss what uh, fish oil is. Now, fish oil is a type of omega fatty acid, and there's a, there's a few of them, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna discuss two omega fatty acids, and this is gonna tie into fish oil supplementation here in a second. So we have omega-6s and omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-6s we get plenty of through a typical American diet of red meat and eggs, but the omega-3s on the other hand, we don't get a lot of because that comes from fish. And as an American myself, I'd rather eat the red meat and eggs as opposed to the fish because the only type of fish I really like is beer battered and fried. But the point being with this is for all the benefits of fish oil supplementation, you want the ratio of omega-6 consumption to omega-3 consumption to be about one to one are equal to really derive uh, the benefits of both of those omega fatty acids. Now let's go to fish oil supplements. Now as I said, fish oil is a type of omega-3 fatty acid composed of uh, two fatty acids called EPA and DHA. And a lot of you probably already know the, the many benefits of fish oil supplementation for overall health. I mean, there's a ton of research out there on this showing that it can reduce plaque buildup. It can help prevent certain forms of cancer and diabetes. Uh, it's critical for the, the health of the brain, the eyes, the central nervous system. There's also a lot of research showing how fish oil supplementation can help with uh, symptoms of depression and mood. And the list goes on and on and on. So, even taking fish oil supplement for overall health is a really, really good idea. But as an endurance athlete, you probably want to know how fish oil supplementation can, can benefit your endurance performance. And there's a few ways that it, it can do this. Um, one, fish oil supplementation has been shown to prevent uh, or minimize muscle soreness after exercise. Two, it has been shown to prevent uh, inflammation. Now you may be saying, Matt, you had another video about how we don't want to prevent the inflammation process uh, so we can allow the body to adapt to exercise. But in this case, fish oil works on a different mechanism compared to tart cherry and uh, green tea extract. So fish oil really helps prevent chronic inflammation and not the acute inflammation that we don't want to prevent from happening to allow for those adaptations uh, to exercise. Uh, fish oil supplementation has also been shown to improve body com composition, especially when combined with endurance exercise. So if you're trying to you know, drop a few pounds or lose a little bit of body fat and have a little more muscle mass, fish oil supplementation might be right up your alley. So that is the health benefits and then the performance benefits of fish oil supplementation. Now, how much do we need to be taking to get these benefits? And this is, this is quite a range, honestly. Uh, for general health, you want to do anywhere from about 250 milligrams up to about a thousand milligrams, uh, and that's just for overall health. And that may help with some of the, the performance benefits too. But if you want to uh, prevent soreness and get some of these other performance benefits, you really gotta go above a gram a day and even up to uh, six grams a day, especially if you wanna try to minimize soreness after exercise. So you can see where supplementation with a fish oil supplement is the easiest way to do this because you'd have to eat a ton of mackerel to get the amount of EPA and DHA needed to give you all these uh, benefits. So fish oil supplementation, all the way to get those amounts. Now, another common complaint about fish oil supplementation goes like this. But Matt, fish oil supplements give me fish burps. Ew, gross. And I would say, suck it up, Sally. It's good for you. But 
since I'm not really like that, I'm gonna give you a little hint here um, to prevent the fish burps. And that is you wanna store your fish oil uh, supplement in the freezer or you can take it with food or a combination of both and that should uh, prevent <laughs> the fish burps from happening. So that's, that's the down and dirty on fish oil supplementation. I mean, there's really no good reason for you not to take a fish oil supplement. You just want to make sure, again, that you're getting the recommended dosage anywhere from 250 milligrams up to 6 grams daily for the health and uh, performance benefits. Now, you also want to make sure you're getting a high quality fish oil supplement, and there's a lot of bad ones out there. Um, unfortunately, Enduralete does not have a fish oil supplement now, but we will in the future. But in the meantime, definitely go over to a new Nutribio and pick up a fish oil supplement from there and that way you're knowing you're getting an efficacious dose in a high quality uh, fish oil supplement. So I'm going to sign off for today my endurance friends. If you have a fish loving friend uh, please share this video with them. If you want other content on this like this on endurance training, nutrition, and supplementation head over to the Enduralete website at www.endurelite.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, our Instagram, I don't even know what else there is anymore for all this social stuff like snap chitter or snap I don't even know what it is but anyways subscribe to those uh, various uh, social media channels and until next time stay fueled stay focused and stay fast